All right, Shaholics. Well, welcome back to another episode. Hope you can hear me all right. It's a little windy today, but uh, what we're gonna do now is hop in the truck and uh, we're gonna go take a look at the surf and uh, there's been some pretty good bluefish action. So we're just gonna go have some fun before it gets dark. It's about uh, like 6, 6.15 right now. So let's hop in the truck. And uh, before we get started, today's video is actually brought to you by The Ridge Wallet. And uh, if you didn't catch my last video, basically The Ridge is a nice, sleek, compact way to carry the cards that you need and none of that junk you don't need in a wallet. And uh, I've, got, I've got a nice code for you guys that I'll put right here on the screen so uh, you can save some money, pick something up for your pops because Father's Day is right around the corner or get something for a friend or yourself. And uh, yeah, I love The Ridge. It's uh, just so convenient and small. So uh, yeah, I'll put up more information down in the description. Definitely check it out. Now let's uh, hit the road. All right, just made it to the water here with Matt. He's waiting out now and uh, we're gonna try and see if we can get on some fish. Some guys down over there are hooking up on some medium sized blues. So definitely some fish to be caught. Uh, let's get out there ourselves. <laughs> All right, well, how many casts did you take so far? Four and not a single one. <laughs> Not a bite. <laughs> oh, there he is. Got him on the little diamond jig. All right, not bad. Good little start. Hopefully some bigger ones come around to play as it gets later. It's about 6.30 right now. You did, huh? You got bit off? Boom! Yeah, there's a good pot of fish swimming in front of us now. This is gonna be one of those years of the bluefish, I think. Like yesterday I was out in my buddy's boat and we were catching some absolute gators like 10 to 15 pounds like non-stop they were blitzing on top actually like they do in the fall like bass it was really cool oh whoo doubled up <laughs> yeah, you can't really complain when you're on a hot bluefish bite especially when you know they're at least like five or six pounds of course we love it when they're like 10 15 plus pounds, but you don't always get on bites like that. I'm gonna get mine in first. <laughs> Who can get it in first and release it? Gotta touch the leader. Boom. <laughs> that was actually a pretty close tie. I said boom before it actually, like the fish hit the water, but they both hit the water at the same time. <laughs> Woo! This is a bigger one. Definitely a little bit bigger here. Whoa, ho! Yeah, this is the fish we were looking for. This might actually be a bass too. Kind of pulling like a bass. Oh, he came off. Is that a bass? I don't know, it was a nice fish though. Dang. You see this diamond jig hook, the barb is like starting to rust away. That's probably why we lost that one. Dang it. Ha, 
little dinker here. All right, so on this cast, I'm gonna try letting it sink to the bottom and then slowly start the retrieve. I think that might be like the key to get a bass right here, if there's any bass here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I think he ate it off the bottom <laughs> or he just hit it on the drop. That was like instant. I, did, I took a half a, a, a turn of the reel or a quarter turn and there was just a fish on. A little bit bigger one. Got bit. Oh, there he is. Came off. Oh, no, he's still on. It's like water skiing. So I'm using the Saltex today and I'm having no problem just putting it between my legs and, you know, the waves are, you know, hitting it and it's still working great. It's a crazy one. Feels like something bigger. Fishing it right along the sand and the rocks real tight. Yeah. This is definitely a nicer fish. This is what I'm talking about, boys and girls, if you're watching. Whew. Heck yeah. Yeah, this might be a 10 pounder. Please stay hooked, baby. He's pulling some drag at least. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Really fun. I'm having a blast. Whew. Yeah, it was definitely key letting it sink to the bottom and then slowly starting the retrieve. Oh yeah, that is a respectable bluefish right there. On the diamond jig, heck yeah. Check that out. Whew. There he is. I love it in the spring, like early summer when the water's still chilly and they're like that really like light green, bluish turquoise color. Oh. All right, it's getting back quick. That was a pretty long fight, and there she goes. Whew, that was a tank. All right, well, pretty sweet. We're getting on a hot bite here. Just came back to the shore to uh, change out the battery for the head cam, and uh, we're using just this little A17 diamond jig, a real simple but effective lure, as you can see. And uh, here's a little tip. If you've ever bought a diamond jig with a tube that is straight on the hook like that, you wanna push it down a little bit I, you know, I usually have a tail sticking off here, but it got chopped off today. But uh, you want to have it pushed down so that it's definitely on the curvature here of the hook. And uh, it just helps that tube spin a little bit and look like a sand eel or the tail of a bait fish. And uh, I think it just helps myself get more bites and possibly maybe if you try it out, it'll help you get a few more bites. So let's uh, now change out the battery and we'll get back out there, see if we can uh, at least get like one more nice and blue because uh, that was really fun. So right now I'm actually not even wearing my spikes because uh, I got some new corker boots that I really didn't like. So I'm not really sure uh, what I'm gonna do. And my uh, stocking foot waders are <laughs> leaking really bad. So I had to order a new pair. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hit like crazy. Seems like as that sun's getting lower, even more fish are out there. We'll uh, probably take more cast of this diamond and then I'm thinking oh my gosh it's a nicer fish actually and then uh maybe we'll throw top water oh god Whew. that was like a bullet coming at my head 
Jeez. All right, well, my tube is like totally getting destroyed. So I think it's about time to try something different about this bunker tsunami talking papa. Oh, well, that was a terrible first cast. Oh, <laughs> got a fish still hit it right in front of us. The quality of fish is definitely getting a little bit bigger. Watch this, watch this, watch that right there. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> The little guy, though. Ugh. Oh, that was a big blow up. Big one. Big one, dude. Whoa, are you kidding me? That, that was a sick run. Dude, that is what I'm talking about. Oh, he came off. What? I suck. Oh, and another one. It just slammed it right there. That is insane. It is a smaller one, though. Oh, why did we have to lose that big one? That was probably a 10, 15 pounder, maybe. That was a big fish in the I know, dude. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Ah, f I forgot my pliers and uh, yeah, that just happened. It actually doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> it's just like one little, you know what I mean? Like, you know how it's not really deep. It's not deep at all. Ah. Oh. There it goes. All right, well, let's get back out there. See if we can get one more big one before this sun goes down. And uh, to be totally honest, that was the first hook that I've actually had go past the barb. And you know, after all the years of fishing in my life, so it was about time that it happened. And uh, go figure, of course, is the day that I forgot the pliers and we're on a hot bluefish bite. Not a bad one. Yo, can I get those pliers before you cast? All right, well, we're heading out uh, and that sun has set. Real beautiful evening out here. And uh, it's unfortunate we uh, got hooked ourselves. But uh, it's the name of the game. Uh, you know, I knew it was gonna happen eventually and uh, you know I've handled a lot of bluefish in uh, my years of fishing and for those of you that don't know I helped run a boat out here in Montauk and uh, you know I guess like now for like seven years uh, you know we primarily take people out for striped bass and bluefish so uh, every year I probably catch and unhook like thousands of bluefish um, especially like when we're using the umbrella rig sometimes we're catching four or five at a time so um, <laughs> I've had a lot of close calls, let's just say. Um, so, you know, today uh, my luck just ran out. Forgot the pliers. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that fish actually, like, the hook hooked me there, but it popped out. And then uh, kind of in the moment when I was trying to, like, make sure the hook didn't go through this finger, then uh, got snagged on the other hand. And uh, it actually really didn't hurt that bad. <laughs> like, I wasn't like in any kind of sign of like extreme pain. He's I mean, crying the whole time. He's yeah. Crying. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Had a great time. We'll put all my tackle and equipment down in the description. And uh, like always, live the fish. Fish to live.